Hello everyone, Lutheran Smith here. Saturday again, um, quickie reading time. Um, first of all, this is going to be a dead short one uh, because I don't want to really want to be reading too long today because um, I've got some other things and bits and pieces to do. So let us read this um, because it's the end of the month. We got a recap on May, don't we? So in May is the fifth month of 2022. Chris opened the month still. Inc incognito in command of you but is transferred back to Gal on the 3rd of May he has sent out a letter and some new art uh, we'll probably have a look at the art at a later date because I'm not I'm not quite keen on like, looking looking at art at a minute notable events on the 3rd of May a third mugshot of Chris is leaked following the transfer back to CVRC the, the Gal from a under undisclosed facility that day. On the 6th, Chris draws three images for Praetor. You'd better have faith and believe it. Happiness can still be a hug away and wild and punky in flight. On the 10th of May, Chris sends a letter to Kenneth Inglehart, his first letter it, since his transfer. On the 11th of May, Kenneth receives Chris's letter in the mail. On the 13th to the 15th, Sequestia Fest, a unofficial My Little Pony convention held in Ocean City, Maryland, which Chris has been blacklisted from since March 2020, took place without him. And on the 14th of May, the letter is posted publicly on Onion Farms. Chris also draws two images for Prater, a prayer in of Angela Rose Clue and Sonic Clue Prime and Rosie Rose Clue's Prime first first visit to a village of World Sonic Clues and Rose Clues in 2004. Um, so yeah, this is a picture you've already seen. Um, you you've already seen you already seen this, so it doesn't matter. Uh, that, that's like the newest one um, of Chris at the minute. So a Chris Clan conspiracy. The Chris Clan. Conspiracy is a documentary film series created by The Gamer from Mars, a channel dedicated to covering strange individuals and odd ph phenomena. Chris, having gained his own cult of personality on the internet, was one of the most requested topics for The Gamer from Mars to cover. So he pulled, at, so he pulled out all the stops to make a four-episode series with an approximate run time of five hours. Yeah, there was four episodes and there, and there was like a live stream for like an extra bonus thing that he did. Like Q&A sort of thing. This documentary is more detailed than Sagamo's and covers a much greater period of time than that documentary, but less in depth than Gino Samuel's documentary. The documentary makes use of several previously unseen interactions between the Game for Mars and, and Coppets, with Chris at 14 Branchley Court, Ruckersville and Charlottesville, which were filmed in December 2019, showcasing Chris's daily life and, and providing additional insight into his hobbies and public behaviour, along with his descent into delusions. Sections of Chris's life are depicted in the form of artwork resembling Chris's own. A trailer for the Chris Can Conspiracy was uploaded on YouTube on the 18th of March 2022, and the series pro 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 proper ran from the 19th of March 2022 to the 9th of April 2022. So it's like less than a month we got it all up, this dedication. Covering everything from how Chris's parents met how how Chris's parents met to Chris being sent to a mental hospital so basically from beginning to end but not as detailed as Gino Samuel because Gino Samuel has not finished his documentary yet so the, these are basically the episodes and they are long like around an hour each roughly so you got the Chris Can conspiracy documentary trailer you got the Chris Can conspiracy you got the episode 2 Rise of Chris Can, episode 3 The Golden Age of Chris Can, and episode 4 The Downfall of Chris Can. So, um. So, yeah. That is it. I've, I've actually seen the, um, the documentary. It, was, it is very well done. 
uh, we, we'll have a look at the only picture here any minute now yeah so just to make some work it's happening now it's happening now it's happening now and that was like November 24th 2018 guess what it hasn't happened yet um, so yeah that was like a dead quick reading I must say so um, I'll talk a little bit I'll give, give a minute to give a little um, update on things um, next month if if Chris posts any if Chris sends any letters and if if the receiver uploads it, I will read the letters. I'll keep updated on Chris Can until the court date, which is in July, another two months, I believe. So yeah, um, I'm guessing he's still f spazzing out in jail. Obviously, the mental institution didn't do much for him. Um, and yeah really there's not much to say on the matter because we don't have like more info about it we only got that new letter that was released earlier this month and that was about hit it but that was more and more or less the same sort of thing so so yeah I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll see you tomorrow for the weekly recap <laughs>